everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be discussing what four digit seven segment displays are. But before we dive straight into the video to understand what they are, we're going to look at a quick experiment to see how these displays work. Here we have a four digit seven segment display, which is this right here, and it's connected to a breadboard. And it's also connected to an Arduino Uno. We talked about Arduinos in our previous video. So we have a program that's about to run. And at the end of the video, we'll take a look at the program. But now if we supply power to the Arduino, if we turn it on, we can see how the seven segment display also turns on. And what it's doing is that it's counting up from zero. It's every second it's counting. It's like a timer or an alarm. So now it's at 11 seconds, 12, so this is what a four digit seven segment display is. I can bring it a little closer so you can see it better. So you can see how it's counting. Now we're gonna actually take a look at what these are. In one of our earlier videos, we looked at what this is right here. This is a one digit seven segment display and really it's quite similar to this four digit. The only difference is that the four digit has four digits or numbers. So what are the pros of this? Well, the four digit seven segment display can display bigger numbers or it can keep track of time. It can keep track of score. So much bigger numbers. While this can only go up to number nine, this can go up to 9,999. So this is can keep track of much bigger numbers. On top of that, in the earlier video, we looked at how this one digit seven segment display has eight LEDs in total. It has seven segments and one decimal point. On the other hand, this four digit one has four of those. So it has 32 LEDs in total because there's four digits. So there's much more in the four digit seven segment display. But that also means it becomes more complicated. Now let's dive straight into how they work and what they are. So here we have a, an enlarged image of every single one of these digits right here. And each segment, each LED has a letter corresponding to it. So this segment has A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the decimal point. They all have letters. On this four digit seven segment display, each of the segments also have a pin corresponding to it with that letter. So segment A on each of these four digits has pin A. Segment B of each of the four digits has pin B. There's also C, D, uh, E, F, G, and the decimal point. They all have a pin corresponding to the segments. On top of that, there's also pins that correspond to each separate digit. So for digit one, there is D1. Digit two, there's D2 corresponding to it. Digit three, D3, D4, digit four, D4. So there's pins corresponding to each segment and digit. That's simple. Now there's two different types of four digit seven segment displays. This is where it gets complicated common anode and common cathode. So we're going to go over common anode first. So we already know that each of these separate digits has eight LEDs. There's 32 in total. So how common anode works is, well, the anodes of every single segment, the anodes of every single LED of one digit will be connected to their digit pin. The anodes of one digit connect to their digit pin. So for instance, the anodes of digit one, so there's eight LEDs, the eight anodes of each LED will connect to D1. For digit two, the eight, L the eight anodes of a the eight LEDs will connect to the D2 pin. And the cathodes of the eight LEDs will connect to their corresponding segment pins. 
So if the, if the anodes of every single segment course co connects to the digit pin, then the cathodes connect to their corresponding segment pins. So the cathode of A will, co will connect to pin A, while the anode of A will connect to D1. The cathode of B will connect to B, while the anode of B will connect to D1. So that's how it works. What will happen when we're trying to light up a certain segment, the digit pin is where current will flow through. The positive voltage will be applied there. So D1 is where the positive voltage will be applied. For instance, if we want to light up segment B, let's say that's the segment we want to light up right now. This is how it will go. Current will pass from D1 to it will go to B, which is going to be ground in this case. The cathodes is ground. So the segment pins in this case is ground. So current will flow from the positive to the negative. So it would go to ground. To light up segment B, it will go from the anode of segment B, which is at D1, to the cathode, which is ground. Now for common cathode, it's a little different. It's the opposite. The cathodes of each digit pin, the cathodes of each digit will connect to their digit pin. So it's the opposite. In this case, anode's connected. Now it's cathode. So if we take a look at digit two this time, the cathode of all eight LEDs will connect to D2, while the anodes will connect to their corresponding segment pins. So for A, its cathode will connect to D2, its anode will connect to A. For B, its cathode will connect to D2, its anode will connect to B. For C, its cathode will connect to D2, anode will connect to C. So that's how what it wor works. So the anodes in this case will connect to their segment pins, as we just said. Now, if we look at a bigger example this time, like let's say for digit three, we want to create this number. We want to create the number three on digit three. This is how it will work. A positive, so we know already that this is A, B, C, D, and G. So in this case, a positive voltage will be applied to pin A, and then it will travel to D3, which is where all the cathodes are for this digit, for all these LEDs. It will go from A to D3. D3 in this case will be the ground. So ground in this case will be the digit pin. This is going to be ground. While here in this case, ground is going to be the segment pins. So we're looking at only common cathode right now though. So it will go from A to D3, ground. That will light up segment A. To light up segment B, it will go from B to D3. That will light up, the current will go from B to D3. To light up C, it will go from C to D3. Current will flow from C to D3, which is ground. D to D3 will light up segment D, and G pin current will flow from G to D3 to light up segment G. So that's very simple. Now I'm going to go back to the code, to the program we talked about in the beginning, the experiment, to really see this happen in action, to look at the code behind this. So here we have the code, the program that we used for the seven segment display that we looked at earlier. So you can see how we have, it's quite a big code and over here, the place we want to focus is right here. This whole part right here. You can see how there's high and low and all of that. So what does that mean? Well, this demonstrates a very big part of what we talked about. Of, and this isn't a common cathode, by the way. So, well, in a common cathode four digit seven segment display, we already know that the cathodes of the LEDs in each digit are connected to the corresponding digit pin, right? And though they're connected to ground when they're active. The Arduino controls the display by setting the segment pins, which are like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, to high. And high corresponds to the anodes of the positive terminals of the LEDs. For a segment to light up, the segment pin must be high. And high means they're providing positive voltage, while the corresponding digit pin for that segment must be low, allowing current to flow through the segment's LED to ground. So low is ground, high is a positive voltage. 
This is why you see high and low in the code. It determines whether a positive voltage is received or it's ground. This configuration kind of ensures that the segment lights up when its anode receives a positive voltage and its cathode is grounded. So this shows us, well, there's high and low everywhere. And this shows us what's turning on, what segments are turning on, where there's a positive voltage, where there's ground. So it's really simple. Well, thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye.